My name is Diego Gutierrez, I'm a painter. I am currently a resident at Ulay Arts. In my studio right now, I am currently thinking about how a painting gets configured, what's the structure that brings everything together. And I'm not only thinking about image, but I'm also thinking of the braces behind the painting, the actual surface, materials, everything. The work that I'm making is not exactly a traditional painting. I'm trying to not have so many boundaries. I feel when you're going through school and you're studying painting, you're learning all these academic things about painting, and I feel some of those things become boundaries. And I'm trying not to think about those things too much because what ends up happening is you end up creating the same painting over and over again, and I'm not really interested in doing that. I'm really interested in showing the process that goes along with making the painting. And so I like to leave things very dirty and gritty. I don't like to have a refined finished product. I don't see it like that. For me, it's more capturing an energy. When I'm making the painting, it becomes a very long process. The first layer isn't the finished piece of painting. It's still being worked. And so I just keep adding layers and layers and layers. Eventually what ends up happening through process, I get developed this texture. And the painting ends up becoming a little bit more sculptural than um, an actual flat surface. And in thinking about it like that, I end up looking at it more as an object rather than just a window. And with all of those things in my mind, I begin to think more structurally about the painting. From a material standpoint, I believe that it's not turning wood or paper into something that it's not because I want to keep all the elements that it has. I don't want to turn it into something. I want it to remain paper. I want it to remain wood. I want you to see all the staples, all the glue, all the nails, all that stuff. I like that stuff, so I want it to remain there, especially the tears on the paper. All of that, they're all elements that make up the painting. My practice, the way I think about it is keeping a very open mind and not being so critical about what goes into the work. I like to say very, very open, so I allow everything in, even things that I hate, I allow them into it because for me, I have a strong belief that painting doesn't always have to be beautiful. You should allow painting to be hateful, even disturbing or uncomfortable. And uncomfortable for me is really important, especially when I'm making it, because I like it when it breaks me out of my routine day. A good day in the studio is a productive day, but productive, it can be anything. It can be capturing an emotion, a feeling, an idea. It doesn't actually have to be making all the time. Sometimes it's just like jotting down notes, researching. And even this, this idea of what a studio is, a studio is really anything. It can be five minutes in your desk at work <laughs> when no one's looking and you're jotting down a note somewhere. Really, the studio is inside your mind and it, that's anywhere. When I make work, I don't like to make one at a time. I like to be making multiple paintings all at once. Reason why is because I want to capture a lot of that excitement that's happening in a studio. And ideas never happen one at a time. Ideas just come one on top of another. And you have to be working at multiple things at the same time in order just to capture those ideas. Even if they're failed ideas, they're still important and you should at least try them out. So making multiple paintings for me has been the best thing. When I found out that I got the residency in New Lights Arts, it was really exciting news for me. They offer you so many opportunities, studio spaces, opportunities to be making art, opportunities to have interesting conversations with people because you have curators coming in and talking to you about your work. You put yourself in a situation where things can happen and that's really, really good. 